Hey, 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 everybody. I'm sure there has been a time in your business where you thought to yourself, hmm, should I just give up? Maybe you said that to a spouse or a friend, I think I'm going to give up, or I don't know why I'm doing this. Nobody wants my service. If you have ever said that out loud or thought that to yourself, then this podcast episode is for you, so stick around. You're listening to Marketing Tips with Melissa Podcast. Welcome to Marketing Tips with Melissa Podcast. And now, your host, Melissa Jakubovic. Today, I want to talk to you about something we all go through. It's that feeling like we're not good enough, we're not doing enough, we're never going to get to where we want to be or what we're trying to achieve. And we just simply take a step back and think, are we supposed to be doing this? Am I on the right path? Maybe I should give up. And if you've ever felt like that, I want you to know that you're not alone. In fact, we all feel that way at some point in our business. And it's totally natural. It's normal. And it just means that you're on the entrepreneur journey. But what we can focus on are things that are going to bring us closer to our goals And also focus in on where we can improve. Because sometimes us just asking, are we meant for this? Are we supposed to do this? Should I give up? Is really just our way of saying, I'm stuck. I don't know what else I should do next. And I don't know where to go from here. So I want you to think about your data. I talk about data in so many previous podcast episodes. How important it is for you to track your data. So you understand how many people you're connecting with or how many groups you're in or how many posts you've made or certain types of posts that you made and how many comments you got, how many engagements you got, how many people you're connecting with in groups or on Instagram or in Facebook or maybe you're tracking how many people you get on a discovery call with or maybe you're tracking how many people are on your email list. But when you can track numbers, Numbers don't lie. They tell a story and they tell us what is and what isn't working so you know what you can focus on to do better next time. Also, we are full of ideas. We're entrepreneurs. We're the creators of the world. So if we are full of ideas, it is very common that my coaching and healing clients have millions of ideas, different businesses, different services they can offer, different ways they can make passive income. And what happens is they get that shiny object syndrome and they lose focus on moving one item in one direction towards one solid goal. So I want to know what are you focusing on? Are you focusing on all the ideas at once? Are you focusing on things that don't make money? Because the truth is you need to focus on your money generating activities. Your money generating activities are things that you do in your business that bring money in. So for example, writing a pretty blog and designing the website for it isn't going to bring money in because the way blogs bring money in is that a lot of people are reading them. And if you don't have a lot of people in your following, no one's reading your blog. So there's a time and a place for a blog. There's a time and a place for literally everything. There's a time and a place for having a beautiful website. But if you don't have any, cl- but if you don't have any clients yet, You don't need to be spending months and months and months designing your website because when you launch that website, you're not going to have thousands of people knocking on your door. You're going to have to spend time building that slowly. And again, there's a time and a place for when you can put that into your business and start using it and building your business slowly. But if you need to get some money in the door, the money generating activities are going to be you adding people to your network, starting conversations with people in groups, and connecting. Now, the reason why I want you to focus on money generating activities is because that's how you're going to have a cash influx that you can then use to pay your bills, pay your team, grow your business, invest back into marketing, be able to spend time doing things that create more money. Like sometimes coaches are focusing on having a really pretty content strategy and making sure that they go in Canva and they have the same backgrounds on the same days and they have the same themes one week after the other and it's just like theme and beauty and aesthetic, but does that content convert into clients? Because if not, you're wasting your time on your content. So you really want to focus on the things that 
bring in more leads to your business or bring more people to a program and create a sale. Now, the answer to the question, should I give up, is no, you shouldn't give up. You really should figure out what's not working and why you are stuck. And one of the best ways to do that is to go out into your audience, ask your followers, what are you struggling with right now? And see what their answers are. And then if their answers are in alignment with your package, then we know that your package is probably pretty good, but maybe your process for selling it isn't good. Or maybe your process for getting new leads in the door isn't good. But if you ask your potential clients, what are you guys struggling with? And they tell you a list of several things and you go look at your program and it actually doesn't solve those problems. Well, now we know that the problem is in your program. You have a disconnect of what the market wants and what you are putting out there and creating. So make sure that you're creative. You stand out from the crowd. There's something different about your service than just the next guy who's doing the same thing. How do you feel about surprises? I love them. I have a big surprise coming your way, but I'm not spilling the beans until Black Friday. Want a hint? It's the best, biggest deal I've ever offered. Trust me, you don't want to miss this. That's why you should probably sign up for my VIP Black Friday waitlist at tinyurl.com slash BFVIP. 2021, which stands for Black Friday VIP 2021, so that you don't miss a thing. It's so exciting. I'll see you there. Sometimes you're posting a lot of great content. You know your content is great. It's meaningful. Maybe you've purchased my complete content strategy toolkit, so you know how to create content that really converts into clients, but it's still not working for you. So now we know the content is good, but why is it not working? Well, maybe you're not putting it in front of the right people. Or maybe you're putting it in front of the right people, but not at the right time of day. So all of these factors matter. This is why it's important to collect data. If you wanted to test if your content strategy was good and you're writing meaningful content that leads somebody towards a feeling or a transformation or to take an action with you, but you're still not getting anything back in return, you can then sit down. Maybe you make a a Google sheet and you say, okay, I'm posting this at this time of day in this group and see how many comments I get. And then you'll post it again, maybe two weeks later in the same group at a different time of day and you'll write that down. Or you'll post it at the same time of day in a different group. So when you test this over time, you can say, oh, this post consistently gets no engagement. Doesn't matter what group, doesn't matter what time. And now we know it's the content the content itself. So testing things and spending your time where it's important is really going to help you focus in on ways to get out of this feeling of being stuck. Sometimes this is all about your mindset. Maybe your partner doesn't believe that your business is going to take off and they're tired of having a full-time job on your behalf while you figure it out. Or maybe you're rushing to get something done like purchase a house or do something big and the money just isn't there yet. So you're feeling this frazzled, I gotta go, there's a hustle behind me and it's just not working. And so maybe that's why you feel like you need to give up because you're not getting there fast enough. So I want you to remember that things take time and things don't usually work out the very first time. And so you really need to focus on your mindset. You need to understand that This is a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful opportunity to build your own business. There will be ups and downs along the way, but it's how you handle those ups and downs that are going to get you to where you're going or not. And so when you can just take a beat, instead of reacting to something negative or complaining or posting in groups and just venting about all these horrible things, instead just take a beat, take a deep breath in, and channel your focus into something positive. Ask yourself, Is this thought satisfying? And if the thought is not satisfying, change your thought. Choose something else to think about. And you will notice how much better you feel after you do that. And now you are attracting abundance instead of coming from a place of lack. Sometimes the reason why you aren't getting clients and you feel stuck is because your message isn't speaking to your people. They don't know you yet or they don't trust you yet. So you need to showcase your expertise. Maybe you need to go live and teach on a topic. Three tips to blah, blah, blah. Or write a little post about that. 
help people move them along without any expectation of anything in return. We need to know that you are the expert that you say you are. We need to know that we can build trust and do the things that you speak of because you have knowledge in that area. And if you're not showing us that you have knowledge in that area, we don't know. We can't assume. So you want to show up and educate. You want to entertain us with content that really helps us and solves a problem. So really think to how are you showing up online? Are you showing up in front of the right people? Are you showing up at the right time of day? And are you putting your focus into the money generating activities that are going to take your business to the next level? And if not, that's what you need to improve on. Now, if all of this is stuff that you're doing and it's still not working for you, you probably need to invest in a coach. Because what happens is when a coach or a strategist comes into your business, we could look around and see what's going on in your business from a bird's eye view. You're in it every day, day to day. So You're not really noticing all these little tiny things that might be what's missing. And sometimes it's those little tiny tweaks that make massive change. So for example, if you were to hire me as your coach, I would talk to you on a call. I would listen to the answers to some questions that I'd have about your business. And based on the way you answer those questions, I would be able to tell you what those next steps are or why something's not working or where your focus needs to go, what direction you need to go in for success to reach the goals that you want. So when you're feeling stuck, sometimes it's just that you need to reach outside of yourself to get the help that you need because when we're in it, we don't always see it. All right, so I hope this helps. I hope you feel a little bit inspired to not give up and to take some action on the things that I spoke about here today. I hope this helps. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for listening to the Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast at www.marketingtipswithmeliss.com. Hey, coaches and healers. It's time to feel supported in your business. Head on over to our free community to get access to my best resources for free. I'm talking marketing tips, business strategy, feedback, and so much more. Join now at magneticmarketingmastermind.com. See you there.